and hundreds of people lined the streets of downtown Sarasota for today's Veterans Day Parade. Nadine, you were out there in all the action. How was it? Lyndon, it was amazing. And you know I have close friends and family who have served and who are currently serving. And it was so nice to see everyone out there saying thank you. A salute to all who serve. Oh, this day means everything. This is why we're here and why we fought in the first place. We are the home of the free because of the brave, honorable, selfless men and women fighting for our freedom. For them to recognize us, that's all it's about. Honoring all who served in the United States military. <laughs> Vietnam veteran Brian Lake remembers a time when he was not appreciated, but grateful things have changed. Since that time, people realize it, and we get more welcome homes and more hugs now than we even needed then. Navy veteran Bill Iving says the oath and his service to his country is something he won't take for granted. An obligation we all took very seriously back then and I'm so thankful to see all the, uh, the young veterans and the ROTC groups just shows a good good side of America. He says after all these years, the little things make a big impact. Uh, the best part of the parade today was a little girl came up and gave me a card and uh, handmade cards that she gave to uh, veterans. And uh, that was the highlight of my parade. Honoring their courage and sacrifice. Uh, it's a great way to serve your country and to uh, learn and grow. You uh, really grow up. And would you do it all again? Oh yes, yes. And I spoke to many other veterans who said without hesitation, they would do it all over again. So on this day and every day, thank you. I never really enjoyed your Veterans Day coverage all week long. Good job out there today.